Good morning everybody, we're back at the army camp. I've dug a few holes already this morning. I couldn't do the beach today because uh, the tides are all wrong. Uh, that was my first find. Huge great lump of iron, I haven't got a clue what that is. But uh, we showed the owner anyway. Got a signal down in here which was uh, all over the place. I can actually see it. It looks a bit like one of those brass, great big brass curtain up things. Just there, look. There it is. Yep, that's what it is, look. Let's give it a tap. Get some of the muck out of it. Yep, there you go. First signal. Mark's over to my right somewhere, and the field's still full of sheep. As you can see, one of them left me a little parcel right by the hole there, look. <laughs> oh, oh well, let's hope there's some more. Right, on to the oh, next one. I just one. had a nifty signal out of there. I pulled that big lump of concrete out of there, and it was underneath it. It looks like it's an umbrella slide, a big one. I assume that's what it is. It looks like an umbrella slide. Still better when I cleaned it up at home. But, uh, that's different. Yeah. Oh well. We're finding a few bits anyway. Not a lot, but uh, mainly iron. Right, moving on. Right, just dug that hole there. That's what. Let's see my pinpointer. It's nearly the depth of my pinpointer. And it's got these two pieces out of it. There's one, and there's the other. They're oh, get the rubbish off. They're brass. I've cleaned them up. And they've both got pattern on them. I don't know if whether they're part of a buckle or something. The pattern's both on this side. I clean them up better at home. And it looks as though there may have been some gilding on there. But uh, they're beginning to dry now. There's all sorts of patterns on there. Very thin, whatever it is. Right. On to the next one. Right, we'll have a go at a live dig. It's the best signal I've had all morning. That's doing 33, 34. Let's give it a go, see what we got. Still in the hole. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, hang on, I don't have to find it, I can see it. Looks like we've got a coin. Hang on, turn that thing off. So it's coin today. Let's bring the camera over so you can see in the hole. It's just there, look, looks like a could be a half penny. Hang on, I'll come back to you in a moment, I've cleaned it. Right, it's uh, George VI. I think you can see that's a lot of shadow. And I move the camera around out. That's better. George VI. I think that's 19... 1941 ship half penny. Woohoo! Finally found a coin. Right, check the old again. And then we'll move on. Well, just dug that old there. Oh, really weird signal. And what we got is a tiny little lead ball. That is tiny. I wouldn't think that's from a pistol. It's got a lump on the back of it. Uh, God knows what that was. But we'll take it home and give it a clean up. Been there a while, whatever it is. Right, on to the next one. Right, just dug that hole there. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. There's something just there, look. I don't know what that is. Get it out. I don't know whether that's a coin or what. Hang on. Ooh. Oh, hello. I've got an idea. It's a trade token. Yeah.
That's another big lead trade token. Oh wow, IW. I don't, yeah, it's got to be a trade token. And a, like a cross on the back. Alright, I'll get that one cleaned up and show you in a roundup. Oh wow, oh it was worth coming out. Wow. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> nice one. Alright. Glad we come out here now. On to the next one. It's got a banging great signal in that hole. 34.35. <laughs> Turned out to be a blooming great chunk of lead, look. Really great big piece of lead. Look. Another one for the scrap pot. Last lot of lead I took to the scrap yard I got 40 quid for, so that wasn't bad, was it? Alright. I oh, the next one, just dug that hole there, that's nearly a foot deep, all I found in it was a fence staple and that piece of old copper that someone's cut out of something, not even square. Right, fill that one in and move on. Right, just dug that hole there, there's a fence staple which I put in my bag somewhere, a piece of Georgian wide glass which has probably come from the camp that can go back in the hole and a big brass nut it's got green paint on it so something to do with the camp I suppose though it's light green so it could have been off some sort of farm machinery ok, moving on I think I'm finding demolition rubble from the old campsite now just found that which I presume is probably a, something to do with the door handle and there's still something in the hole. Right, I'll come back to you in a moment. Right, all we got out of there was another piece of iron. Found that though. I don't know what that was off. I don't think it's a tile because it's glazed both sides. Oh, that can go back in the hole. On to the next one. Alright, we might have a go at a live dig here. This is the uh, Ringing up 33, 35. Right, we'll give it a go. Probably turn out a few piece of brass or copper. Right, nice big hole. Up you come. Right, still in the hole. Bring it a bit nearer. Alright, oh, where's my pinpoint? Let's have a look. Oh well. <laughs> oh, still in the hole somewhere. Oh, it looks like it's deep. Deep. Still in the hole. Oh, I hit something down there. Let's see if we can see it. Oops, what's that? Ooh, it's a coin. <laughs> oh, looks like another half pea. Right, I'll clean it up and come right. back to you. Right, that's George VI, 1949. Uh, right, another half penny. Moving on. Another nice signal here. 28, 29. Let's have a look. What we got? Bit of silver be nice. Up you come. Still in the hole. Right. Oh, the old knees are getting worse. Oh, it's not very 
knee deep, whatever it is. See that? I think that's, a, that's the second one of those I've had. I think it's a cable connector out of uh, one of the searchlight units, probably the, the power supplies. I think I've got another one in my bag. I'll clean them up, show you later on on the roundup. Right, moving right. on. Just dug that hole there. Looks like we've got a button. Come back to you in a moment. I don't suppose this will show up on there, but that's got an eagle on it, been gilded. I haven't got a clue what that is. It's still got its shank on the back. You can see that. Right. We we'll take that home. It looks like it's been gilded anyway. Let's get that home and see what it is. Catch you on the roundup. Right, I think this is going to be the last dig. I think we might have a coin here. Something down there. What's that? Yeah, it looks like a half penny again. God, that's a manky one. Right, I'll get back to you when I get home on that one. Hello YouTubers. Sorry if there's a shadow on this. This is our roundup for uh, this morning, which was the 30th of November. Back at the camp. I see they've got coins there. The first one is 1949 George VI. The second one is 1941 George VI. The last one's 1927, which is George V. And I had that uh, buckle there. I don't know if it's going to show up on this camera. We'll give it a try. It's on my mobile phone. Can you see there's a pattern on there? I thought that was a nurse's buckle. There was two parts to it. Both of them have got patterns on. But, uh, yeah, it looks like they, it was either silvered or gilded at one time. It's very thin though. Anyway, we had all sorts of weird things. There's a umbrella slide. It's a big one. I've never seen, never had one that big before. There's two clamps of some sort. I haven't got a clue what they are. They're made of brass, but they've got iron inside. So they're clamping some sort of iron, a rail or something like that. Bit of copper sheet, another one of them great big hooks. Now, I don't know if that was something to do with their webbing, or something hang on there, or whether it was uh, a big uh, like theatre cu curtain hook. I've had some iron ones like that. I've had a brass one like that as well, but they're quite big. Anyway, moving down a bit, that is, there is a piece of um, solder stick from uh, plumbing. So I've, uh, excuse my hand in the way there. Yeah, see it's, uh, I think it's plumber's metal. Soft it bends anyway, so that's what I think it is. I mean, I'm sure I used to use that when I did some plumbing years ago. All right, that's some bits of sheets of brass. That's got my hand in the way now. Um, that little lead pellet. I don't know what that was from, whether it's just a bit of melted lead or it is actually a pellet of some sort. A piece of pipe. Then there's that uh, button. A bit closer to that, try not to get the shadow on it. That's got some writing on the back of it. But I haven't got a clue what it is. I've had a bit online, I can't find one like that. But what's left of the writing is virtually gone. And there's that token. I'll uh, try and get my hand in round there behind it, turn it over. There you go, look, it's got IW on that side. When you turn it over, it's got like a short cross. And there's a hole right through it. So whether that's from Tudic times, medieval, whatever, I don't know. Can't find anything like that online. So we'll have to get that off to the flow. Then we found all sorts of the usual trash. Is that great big bit of iron? I don't know what the devil that was. You can see, look, the way it is down there. I have got a clue. Obviously, it looks like a clip or something, or old something, I don't know. Some old fence staples. 
there's a bit of melted lead there, nails, pins, all sorts of uh, junk. Foil, that looks like it's pretty old. There were some big foil caps I found there before. All sorts of other bits of junk. Usual great big chunks of lead. And quite a few of those now. A bit of door furniture. And that great big piece of copper. Where the devil that came from, I don't know. Just a bit of copper bar. Well, not bar, it's a bit of a sheet. You know, it's quite thick. Pretty heavy. Weighs about eight, eight ounces, quarter, half a pound, something like that. Anyway, that's all we uh, had today. As I say, is that every time we go there, it seems to get a bit less, but I keep going back as uh, I keep finding some strange things. I've been running my quattro in all metal and uh, virtually been digging everything. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoy the video as much as I enjoyed uh, digging all this junk out of the ground. It was a nice day anyway. Nice to get out and a bit of sunshine even though it was freezing cold. Anyway, catch you on the next one. Bye for now.